it's the G-Shave PR. Um, here for the, I think it's face shave number 25. Got a couple of new things to show you today. I mean, one's not new, it's just I haven't used it yet. Um, it's one that I've been saving for, I don't know, a razor or something like that. Um, and that's holy cow. It's I think it's um, it's definitely from Pasteur's um, But it's made With This is Fouge Fouge bouquet Donkey milk cocoa butter cocum butter shea butter lanolin hops extract um, Has an amazing scent amazing Fougere scent. I've actually stuck my finger in it. It's a semi It's it's not a hard hard soap, but I wouldn't call it quite a crope either. You can scoop some out with your finger, but it's quite hard um, And the other thing that I'm going I'm uh, Happy to have received today and Jim will shave um, um, Is the reason I bought this it's the Mool rocker razor Beautiful looking razor, absolutely gorgeous. Stainless steel, it's got a very unusual sort of base plate to it in that there are no holes. It's a three piece, and if I just show you the base, so I mean that's the handle which is quite lightweight, I believe it's hollow, but it's all stainless steel. Um, so that's the handle. The base plate looks like that. So, and then the other side. <clears throat> and this is the cap. So, gives you an idea. So that's the razor I'm going to use today. And the blades that I'm going to put in it are the usual Astra blades that I would normally test a razor with. Um, hardware wise, I'm definitely using my Gile Shaving Company bowl. So, gives you an idea. Uh, I'm using the Perazzo bore brush made by Omega. So, silver effect. I don't know whether you can see uh, that and that's it as far as hardware is concerned software I'm going with Glyce pre-shave obviously the, the main soap is holy cow I'm going to follow that up with Humphreys followed by it's slowly getting lower look my brute, but I have got another bottle. Um, and I'm using this uh, Dr. Botanicals Advanced uh, Natural Moisturizing Post Shave Balm. It's actually an oil. Um, <clears throat> and if I, I just wanted to read this to you because uh, I hadn't really read it before. It's got sweet almond oil. It says it's rich with vitamin E uh, and aims to detoxify and nourish the skin whilst soothing and hydrating sounds amazing white tea aims to increase skin elasticity and minimize visible signs of aging for a more youthful complexion well i certainly need that uh, and then a blue lotus flower aims to reduce free radical damage whilst hydrating and firming the skin so there you go that's what this is all about. It's a ve it's vegan friendly as well. So, so there you go. So um, that's what I'm using today. I'm going to get myself ready. I'll put the pre-shave on, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Right, off we go then. Ready for the shave. I've done the pre-shave. Um, I've put some of the soap. I just scooped it out with my finger in the bottom of the bowl, and. Um, I'm just going to go ahead now. I'm going to squeeze out the bore brush so it's almost all empty, or, or you know, squeeze, there's no residual water left. 
going straight to the bowl. I just wanted to show you. Oh wow. I mean the scent strength from the puck is a good six, I would say, five, six. Beautiful scent. Um, I put quite a bit of soap in here because I know that boar and badger can soak up quite a lot of uh, of soap so I I would I put in more soap than I would have done with a synthetic so there we go so what I'm going to do I've got it to that stage I'm going to pause and lather this off camera and then I'll be right back right all lathered up just to show you what I've uh, been able to achieve in the minute or two to get that lathered I mean it's got copious amounts there and there's still some some harder bits floating around in it <laughs> so I definitely put in too much but I wanted I didn't want I've had quite a few experiences now with using too little soap so I thought I'll use too much this time and I was I've been looking forward to this so right let's wipe the face again And off we go. So yeah, I've been looking forward to this razor arriving after watching uh, Jim will Jim will show. Um, he was really quite impressed with the razor. So oh, the scent off this is amazing. Um, I would have said it's calmed down a bit. I mean, out of the puck, it's probably a six. I would say it's a five, five and a half now. Um, but nevertheless, an amazing scent. Um, I, I, it certainly, I mean, the, the strongest scent that I've got in my um, collection is probably the Tobbs Sandalwood. And the next one down would probably be the Tobbs Grapefruit. Tobbs do strong scents. Um, Taylor Roll Bond Street, for those that don't know what Tobbs is. Um, amazing scents. They do. Um, quite a fan of theirs, even though I've only got two of their soaps. But I intend to get more at some point. Maybe I'll ask for, at Christmas or something. Right, first go, seven days growth. Slight overhang on the end, only slight, but it is there. Um, and we'll go for it. Okay, so this straight away, I would say, is a medium aggressive. It's certainly more aggressive than the Merca 34C. Um, you can feel the blade. It's cutting straight through this. I've got an Astra blade in it, which is one of my favorite blades. But I reckon you could get away with a feather in this. So yeah, very nice, comfortable shave. Comfortable fit, razor feel anyway. But you can feel the blade. I would say this feels similar. Probably not quite the Razor Up 0.84 feels quite similar to the Edwin Jagger 316 um, this is to me it's interesting how there's no holes you know for the the shaving soap to disperse at the base but it's got big channels in the it's sort of at the side so that it can disperse that way um, but in terms of feel it's very smooth doing a great job I'd probably say it's not one for a beginner. Not straight off. I think you're far better off starting off with something like the Merca 34C. If you've got really fine hair, 
if you're just starting to shave, for instance, the Gillette King C is, or the King C Gillette is, is perfectly adequate. Um, when you've got the fine beard as it starts to grow. But for the more mature male, I would suggest the Merca 34C or the uh, Edwin Jagger DE89. And again, if you've got a really thick beard, I would say the DE89 might be a better one to start with. Um, you might want to go a little more aggressive. If the D I would try the DE89 first. Um, if you've got a, th a thicker beard, mine's sort of a medium beard, I would say. Um, and I started with the Merca 34C and it was great for me. Right, so uh, that first pass, it's taken a lot down. It's taken quite a lot off. I would, would I say this is the best blade for this razor? Probably not. Um, it's not dragging, it's not tugging, um, but I think a sharper blade in this would be better. Right, second pass. The scent on this is really nice. It just wafts over you. That fougere scent. Really nice. On the second pass, you just paint it on. There's not a lot of bristles to build a lather on the face at the, you know, after you've done your first pass. Right. So across the grain, I keep saying this, but because my hair grows sort of, a, you know, that way, then uh, <clears throat> I go straight up on this side. Really comfortable, really smooth. Got some really nice feedback. Very nice. Now across on this side is across. Just the way my beard grows. definitely feel the blade. I think someone said somewhere that this is sort of a step down from the Moolah 41. I'd agree with that sentiment. It, it is, it's smooth, but it's, I would say it's above medium. It's definitely above medium. It's on its way to a, being quite an aggressive razor. I'll tell you. My uh, beard brush comes in handy. <laughs> I mean, I could literally do a third pass like this. Oh, look at that. Let's wash my hand off. But I'm, I am going to add some more because I've got loads of leather here. And I'll nick myself. So that's what I mean. It is definitely something that's going to, uh, you know, it's not going to play around. It's definitely got a bit more aggression to it. So 
So against the grain now. So on this side, this is against the grain. I'm not applying any pressure, I'm being careful now. Even though it's aggressive, I, I would actually say this is, you know, on the second pass now, I'm, I'm putting this above the Razor Rock 0.84 in terms of aggression. This is, to me, more aggressive with this blade. Very nice shave. So on to the pickup pass. Right, I'm going to use my beard brush. Feel around the face. That's baby, be baby butt smooth. I would say I'm pretty. I could leave it there. I've got a couple of spots down here, but where I use it, I've got a little bit there. Not much. I'm going to. Just use the soap that's left in my bed. And we'll go with this. There you go, it's got that. Yeah, all done. All in all, very good shave. I'm going to clean up and uh, I'll be right back. I'm back. Right, let's uh, go for the cold. Cleaned up. Uh, let's go for the cold, uh, cold rinse. Oh. Very nice. Uh, oh, I need to use the alum. That will tell me how aggressive this is. I think this is going to burn a bit. So, spray some more water on. Definitely a burn on this one. Wow. It's not a rock, you know, it's not the worst burn I've had, but yeah, it's burning everywhere. So that's a close shave. And possibly some inexperience with the razor, but that was, it's definitely an aggressive razor. I do think. I agree with whoever it was that said it. 
it's one step down from the Moolah 41. This is quite an aggressive razor. Um, so I, would I recommend it? Hell yeah, great razor. <clears throat> um, definitely a keeper. Great against seven days growth. I'm just letting this Adam do its work. It's still burning. Um, down here mainly, where I cut myself down there. And I think I've irritated it a little bit down there. But anyway, <clears throat> let's wash it off. Because it's time for the witch hazel. Now I don't think this Humphreys has got alcohol in it, so I don't think it's gonna burn. So let's see if I scream. <laughs> There's no burn. It's up on my head. Very nice. Very nice indeed. On with the brute. Oh, there's a burn now. <laughs> Definitely a burn now. Uh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. We're getting there. This will be going into the recycling soon. So, but yeah. So I've got my Dr. Botanicals, but before I put that on, I'm going to let this dry in a little bit. Just want to. Uh, Discuss the razor again. <clears throat> I've cleaned it up. Looks brand new again. I have to say that's going to be out of my, let's say from the most aggressive down, I would say you've got the Moolah 41, which is the most aggressive, then this. Then I would suggest maybe the, it, it's a difficult one. I, 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 I would guess the Rockwell 6C with its number six plate, I would, I'm guessing. I, have, I think I have tried it the first time and that was definitely very aggressive. And then you're going down to the uh, Razor Up 0.84, the Game Changer and the Edwin Jagger 316. Um, but yeah, uh, this is definitely the second most aggressive double edge safety razor I've got. I'm not including it in the single edges because the Hawk V3 is up there with the Moolah 41 or V2, sorry. Um, is up there with the Moolah 41. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, this is an oil-based post-shave balm. Um, as I say, it's got almond oil. So I'm just gonna put some in my hand. It's a clear oil. Not much of a scent to it, but instantly soothing is what I would say. Very nice. There is a scent, um, but I don't get the lotus flowers and stuff like that. I don't. I don't get those. But uh, <clears throat> it, 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 it's it's a pleasant scent, uh, but it's very very mild scented. I would say scent strength on that has got to be a one. It's got less scent than the Nivea Sensitive. So. so that's me for today and for this week. I will see you next week. Haven't got anything new coming. Um, so it'll just be another soap and another shave. So from me and the Mool Rocker, it's bye bye for now. <laughs>